Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Actually this point, let me make this point also um, uh, to the UPND. Let me make this point to the UPND. By UPND, uh, from the way HH spoke, it is clear to me that HH has started campaigning for his second term. It's very clear. But I want to tell you, by UPND, I want you to listen very carefully. You don't assume, don't be overconfident. HH seems to be very confident that 2026 will just be a walkover. I want to tell you that... Uh, uh, be very careful. Be very careful because some of these things that we are talking about, especially economic statistics, economic indicators, these things people, the majority Zambians hardly understand them. They hardly understand them. So if you are going to go by, no, we are doing this, we are doing this, things that do not really affect the basic life of people. Listen to me very well. I am saying, if you are going to rely on things that do not affect the basic life of people, then you are doomed. You are doomed. This issue of millennium, this issue of commodity prices, these are big issues. And whilst you are trying to sort out the debt restructuring, the debt mountain, you cannot ignore the issue of commodity prices. You cannot ignore the issue of fuel. You can't ignore that. And I'm telling you, if you are not careful with the attitude that you have, because you also have this attitude, you know, you are overconfident. You are really overconfident. But I can tell you by UPND, you are going to have it very difficult. You are going to have it very difficult. And I want to tell you, very difficult, not even before, not even, not even 2026. You might have a challenge even before 2026. The way you are handling some of these things, hey, I'm watching and I'm like, hmm, these guys. Don't think that intimidating people into silence, that uh, it's good. I saw the journalists who were asking questions. And the way the president was answering, to be honest with you, me, I was not impressed. I was not impressed the way the president answered to that journalist, uh, KB, KBN. I was not happy. I was not happy with the way the president handled the question that came from that journalist, I think from, uh, from Millennium, Millennium Radio. Uh, that was quite emotive. Eh? That was quite emotive. The president charged but you know, those questions that you are trying to put aside, those are things that people want to hear. That is what makes political sense to a lot of people. You can't ignore the kachepa. You can't ignore kachepa. As a politician, don't ignore the, the rumors. Don't ignore the propaganda. Don't ignore the, uh, the innuendos. Don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. Address them squarely. You can't respond like that to say, people are saying that you have signed line the vice president and the president gets charged into emotions. This question is irrelevant because it's basically said it's irrelevant. But those are relevant issues that people want to hear. They don't want to hear about IMF. They are not interested. They don't want to hear about IMF. They don't want to hear about China. They don't want to hear about Eurobond. They want to hear how much is a bag of billion. They want to hear 
uh, who is in government and so on and so forth. The, there is something that is tasty in the minds of the people politically. And as a politician, you would not be a good politician to ignore what tastes sweet in the minds of the people. In the minds of the people, you need to address that. That is the, that, the, the press conference, the entire press conference was for the elite, people who can understand. But what about the woman in the compound? What was in that message, in that press conference of today? It was the last one of this year. What did HH say which resonated with the woman in the compound, with the woman on the streets, with the youth on the streets? What did he say which resonated with that young person? What resonated? From my point of view, the press conference was full of, you know, uh, uh, full of, uh, 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 what is this, elitist language, aristocratic a, a content that is what was there but with the people mm -mm. and so be very careful with 2026 2026 be very careful you may be thinking of Mingalato and whatever whatever but when people change their mind when they turn around it's very difficult to bring them back and you PND you still have a chance but if next year goes on like this I can rest assure you that HH will lose presidency even before 2026. I'm telling you this. HH will lose presidency even before 2026 if the status quo continues. That bubbling with elitist language will not help HH to retain in second term. And the attitude of you know, the Chola boys around of making the president, telling the president that everything is working, everything is working, even what hasn't been done, even things which are at the point of an idea. It is just an idea. It is just an idea. And you are talking as if it has happened. You are busy babbling about CDF, CDF. You can babble about CDF as much as you want. You can talk all you want from here to heaven. But CDF from my point of view, from my analysis, CDF has not reached the ground. CDF, CDF has not yet touched the lives of the majority Zambians. It hasn't. It is so much spoken about, but the people on the grounds have not yet felt the impact of CDF. The youth out there have not yet felt the impact of CDF. Free education, you can talk as much as you want from here to America, that free education has not yet been appreciated by the poor people that it is targeted for. It hasn't. It has not yet hit them for them to appreciate. If, if you think it has, you will see what will happen in 2026. So some of these things, be very careful when you are boasting about them because they can just be in your mouth and not in the lives of the people. I think I'll leave it here for, for tonight. Um, I'll leave it here for tonight. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.